Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we flipped the primary and secondary menu so we could have a logo on the top with a primary menu at the top and this secondary menu underneath and we centered it with a bit of custom CSS. Today we're going to sort of continue on this theme and we're going to decorate this secondary menu and make it our own just make it a little bit more interesting. We're going to turn it from this into this. I've just used the same colors that we got for our gradient below for a hover effect and I've turned these into sort of little button type things. Pretty easy to do. We're going to use some custom CSS. Don't let that put you off. Any CSS I write today I'll put below this video and you're welcome to use it if you need to. So let's get started. We need to log into our WordPress site. And as we flip these and change the CSS a bit, our top menus tuck slightly under our dashboard navbar at the top there, but that's not a problem at all. As you just saw, it displays perfectly for our visitors. Okay, so I'll refresh this and that should disappear. There we go, we're back how we were. So I'm gonna inspect, I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. I'm going to put, go on one of these links and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit inspect. So here we are, we've got the inspector open, we're on that link and it looks like it's got some padding at the bottom, you see the sort of yellow at the bottom when I hover over it. It's got some padding at the bottom looks like, yep. Yeah. If we look over here it says padding bottom 0.75m. So to do what I want to do today, I'm going to make it have a 0.75m padding all around. So I'm gonna simply click on that till it highlights. I'm gonna get rid of the dash bottom bit. So it just says padding 0.75. That's fine. And we're working with the ET secondary nav A, the href, so it's, when I, write it in a minute it's going to be hashtag because it's an id et secondary nav space a so we can target this as you can see now i've done that when i highlight it it's now got a spacing of 0.75 m all around because we've got one value so that goes to all sides great so i want it to have a background color now what i'm going to do just so it stands out a lot at the moment i'm going to give it a crazy background color Yeah, I made it aqua just so we can see it on our background right here. All right, and what I want to do, I think I want to make these a constant width. At the moment, smaller words have got a smaller box, and larger ones have got a larger one. I'm going to give it a width of perhaps 100 pixels, make them all the same. That's fine, but as you can see, the actual link is on the right hand side there. So I want it in the middle of our sort of button. So let's put text align center, text align, colon center. And there they are, they're in the middle and they're all 100 wide. Now I don't mind having a little bit of gap between, but I think we've got too much there. But I don't think that's on the actual button itself, or in the link itself, I should say. So let's write what we've got here. So let's set it up first. We're looking at ET secondary nav, I think. I'm going to write all of this into my custom CSS box, which if you go to your dashboard, is down to Divi, theme options, and it's down at the bottom of the page. Now we've already got ET secondary menu here. So I'm going to put what we're doing today underneath there. And what I want this first entry is our ET secondary now. So I'm just double left clicking on that. It'll highlight it. It's an ID, so I need a hashtag. So I'm going to copy that. Drop down a couple, bit of space. Not going to give it a heading today. So it's hashtag because it's an ID and paste that in there. Then we're targeting the link, the A, the anchor. 
which is there, the A. So we're targeting E, secondary nav, and then A. Now I can copy the CSS that I wrote here. Don't need that display block. I didn't write that. Let's just copy the ones that I did write. Control C to copy. Back to our custom CSS box. Open and close some curly brackets. And inside, I'm going to paste that code. Now it's throwing up a little flag there because we've got a width and we've got a padding, which occasionally can cause problems. But in this case, it's going to work absolutely fine. So you can ignore that if it happens. OK, I'm going to save this and we'll see how much of it works. Some of it we might have to force using the important class. So let's save this. And let's just refresh, see how much of that actually took. Good, that's all of it. So we didn't have to force any of it. Now, like I say, there's a bit too much gap for me there. I think, let's have a look. I think that might be in the parent class. Yep, it's a. It looks like it's a margin on the right. So there we are, ET secondary nav list item, margin right 15 picks. So let's take that down to zero. That's better. I want them a sort of space like that. Put a picks in. I'll copy that. We'll copy all of that and we'll, we'll make it permanent. So from the bottom opening, closing curly bracket to the hashtag before ET secondary. Control C to copy to our theme options. I'll drop it in below our last entry there. Now let's save those changes and just refresh to make sure that's going to stay as it is. Great. Some of these edits we can do in the actual blocks themselves, but I'm going to do it all here today for convenience. So it's all in one place. OK, that's great. We've got this gap at the top that I don't want, so we need to figure out where that is. Let's get our color right at the moment. These, this blue or aqua color, I want to be this sort of light pink. We've got this below gradient with a dark one end and a light the other end. So I'm going to make it this light pink color by right clicking and inspecting it. There's the gradient. Of course, you can make yours any color that uh, you wish. I'm just using what I've got here. Control C to copy that color from the hashtag and then the hex code and I'm going to replace that aqua there there we go let's save that and refresh and see if it changes to that light pink fantastic great now the only other thing we need to do is bring this up so there's no margin at the top i've got to be careful because i don't want to unalign our basket there so let's have a look i think it's going to be the secondary nav that we targeted for secondary menu secondary nav now i i know it had that 0.75 of an m on the buttons so it's probably got that on the top so let's say margin top margin dash top we'll give it minus 0.75 m and see if that does it yeah that's perfect fantastic great and it's all in line our carts all in line fantastic if you wanted to decorate the cart that way you could just select it and do it the same way i'm going to leave mine naked if you will just so it stands out a bit more all right so we need to put this on the secondary nav and it's an id so it needs a hashtag it's not a class class you'd put a dot menu this is an id so we've got a hashtag left click double copy drop down one hashtag and paste in the name and well, I could copy my code. I guess that'd be quicker than me typing it again, seeing as how I'm a lousy typist. Margin top. Seventy-five. 
We may have to force that. I don't know. We'll see. We're almost there. That's saved. Let's just do a quick refresh. Okay, it's looking fine. And everything's where we want it. If you didn't want those gaps there, not quite sure where those are, to be honest with you. They may be written in somewhere else. We could get the actual, let's have a look here, secondary nav and give it that background color of that light pink. And it would appear that those bars weren't there. So I'm on the secondary nav. Let's just get that color again. Well, I guess I could copy it from here. It's that light pink color. If you were to put that in your secondary nav element, then it would appear that there's no gaps there. Okay, but uh, no, I'm quite happy to have the little, little gaps are fine for me. So the only other thing I want to do is make a little hover effect. And I see when I'm hovering over it now, it's sort of the opacity is going out a little bit, which is OK. But I think I want a bit more dramatic. I'm going to make it this this darker pink color here. On hover and also the actual link color itself, that white's fading. I don't want it to fade. I want it to stay bright white. So let's get that color, the darker pink. Let's go back here. Right click inspect. There we are. Here's the dark one. And I'll leave that there for a minute because what I'm going to do is so I'm going to copy this right here, which is the link and turn it into a hover. So control C to copy that. I'm going to drop down just below it. And just after the A, I'm going to put colon, no space, colon and no space. The word hover. Don't put any spaces in there or it won't work. Open and close some curlies and inside I'm going to say background and we want that pink color. Now again, we may have to force some of these. We'll see. And I want the link color to stay at full opacity. So I'm going to say opacity colon one which is full opacity and again we may have to give that a bit of help with the important if we need to let's have a look let's do this and refresh okay great background colors changing fine as you can see so that's sort of the, the pink that we got here but the link's still going a little dull. I want that to stay bright white. So it's the opacity's not working there. So let's go back in there and give it a little help. So opacity one, let's say important. Exclamation. Important. Now, whoops, don't want two semicolons there. Now let's save that and see if that's helped us out. There we go. Fantastic. That link staying a nice bright white there. So there we've got it. We've actually done it. That'll stay there now. We can close the inspector out. Let's have a look at it in an incognito tab. How our visitors will see it. Control C. Control Shift N for a new incognito. Control V to paste the link. Enter. And there we have it. There's our little site with our customized links. Pretty easy to do. CSS is a wonderful thing. You can get some amazing effects by just playing around a little bit. Of course, I've been using the Divi theme here. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. But this will work with just about any website you care to name, including Bootstrap and HTML. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.
day.